Hey, I'm Mark and welcome to my workshop. Today's project is a solar batch water heater system. And the first thing we're going to start with is the tank to store the water. And in our case today, we're going to be using an old uh, water heater. We're going to strip it down and get the outer casing off of it. And then once you get that off, it's going to be a lot of styrofoam. So let's uh, get over and start cleaning Already it up. taking the outer casing off of it and I've used some tin snips to get down the side of it and, and open it up and expose. You can see I left a little bit of the foam on there. I use a machete or you can use a large blade and, and just, I'm doing it outside because it's so messy. And once you get it all scraped off, we'll give it a good coat of primer paint and then I'll paint it flat black with a heat resistant paint. We'll remove all the old instruments on it and, and get a plug and plug it. We will leave the valve on there and the blowout preventer on there. All right, while the paint's drying on our water tank, the next phase is to build a frame to hold it. But we don't know what size frame to build till we, till we know what glass we're using. You can buy a piece of tempered glass if you want, but I found some old sliding glass doors on a construction site and they gave it to me. And uh, it's clear tempered glass free, so you can't beat that. And I'm uh, simply going to take it apart. It has a handful of screws uh, on each corner. And simply remove those. We'll take a hammer, tap this thing apart. And it, and it has a rubber gasket and then the, there's two pieces of glass here we only, only want one because it's so heavy and the best way to separate it is to take a good sharp knife and really on a hot day it's kind of cold right now but you can slide that between the, the glass and scrape it all the way around and separate it and you get down to one piece of glass and we're going to make an aluminum frame for that particular glass that will fit down on our box. All right, I've got the uh, glass separated from the sliding glass door. Uh, I left the gasket in. It was between the two pieces of glass because it's going to come in handy to seal this against the box we're going to make. Uh, you don't have to leave that gasket. You can get your own, just some uh, adhesive foam backing that you put around your door. And the next phase is we're going to build a, um, a box that will be a little bit smaller than this frame and we're also going to make it where the glass is going to fit on there like a, a lid at roughly a 30 degree angle because I live in Alabama and we're about 30 degrees north of the equator so that's just a good uh, slope to put it at. So the next phase is let's get this uh, laid out on the right, floor. Alright, I got the box laid out on the floor. Uh, it's roughly 77 inches long. Now that 77 inches long is the slope, so the box itself is going to be smaller than that. And uh, then I also have to allow for the thickness of the beadboard siding we're going to use. So after I got all my lines and angles figured out, I, basically I draw the 2x4, the thickness of it right where it, it will go and how the pieces will match up. And I take a bevel square and mark my board. This is my piece that will go here. Simply line it up, preset it at 30 degrees, and we'll go cut that on the miter saw. Right now we just take our pre-cut boards. And we'll need two of these, one for each side, and simply put them on the lines. And then I'm going to take my nail gun I'm using staples and uh all right we got our boards cut I'm using a treated exterior bead board. You can see the I want vertical lines and it has a male female side so you've got to allow for that when you're laying your design out. One lap over the other like 
like so. Get a nice pretty connection. And we will staple this down as well. Get it all lined up. And then the other side will be a mirror image of this. So you can't just use these and trace them out the same way and expect it to work because then you're going to end up with two left hands. So be sure you flip this over when you do your other side, when you're doing your marking. And um, next step is once we get the box finished, we'll put on the hey, other Hey, we got the box uh, made. We got the left and the right side. And I uh, cut the bottom pieces. I got them about a quarter inch small. And I uh, got it all nailed together. But before I can put the top pieces in, um, see they're going to go in like so. And I'm going to have a lump here. Out of the, and it's going to be in the way of making a seal. So this board has to be ripped on a table saw to match that angle, the both top and the bottom. So we're going to take a bevel square and find that angle and simply transfer the mark over to the board. And we'll take this to the both pieces to the table saw and make that cut. And then when we put it in, we'll have a nice surface for the seal of the glass to sit on. All right, we got our boards cut at an angle and secured in. You can see how they match. Went ahead and put on the front, got it nailed in. And the back piece I'm going to leave to where it just screws in. That way I can uh, simply remove it to get in to do hook up the plumbing and any kind of maintenance. Uh, the next step is we're going to build a bottom in it that's going to be at an angle. Um, uh, where the tank can sit on it and we've got to put in a lot of insulation. All right, I got the inner frame made. Um, I got about 10 inches between these. What I'm going to do is put a piece of scrap leftover plywood on the bottom side and then we're going to pack it full of insulation and we'll set the tank in. I'm going to set the tank in with the, with the uh, overflow and exhaust valve down through here. I'm going to leave an opening in the plywood for that. And basically, it will, it will sit in. Rest on this. I'll put a strap on it. And uh, we're going to pack a lot of insulation in here. Then I'm going to take some galvanized metal roofing and attach under here and up to here. And we're going to paint it all black. The sun will heat the tank, the sun's going to heat the air in this chamber, and be, the tank's going to be enveloped in a uh, hot, superheated environment. All right, we got the bottom in. I took and flipped it over to make it easy, and uh, you can see I left some openings for the emergency blowout on the tank, and also for the drain valve. All right, we got the insulation put in. I've got multiple layers. Uh, basically just stapled it in a little on the sides. I've got little X cutouts for the blowout valves. Next is we're going to line it with some tin. I'm going to measure it and cut Ready. it with some tin. Alright, for the inner lining we're just using some galvanized roofing material. I flattened out the edges so I'll be able to staple it into the frame. It's a little bit too long so we're going to take some shears and simply run down it. All right, we got it finished. Got the tank sitting in. It's just sitting in right now. It's held in by a little latch. Uh, I'm not going to put the strap on it until it's installed because it's so heavy. We can. We can take the tank out right now, set it to the side, and uh, we're fixing to put the glass on. So, to keep the weight down, I'm going to leave it until final, until it's finally installed, and they'll still have to hook the plumbing up. The plumbing will hook up just like a regular water heater. Cold water in, cold water side. Hot water out the hot water side. And the way I plumb mine, I plumb my hot water side to my cold water inlet to my existing hot water heater. So all this does is preheat my water before it goes into my existing water heater. It's kind of a hybrid system. That way, if you get a cloudy day or a couple cloudy days, you always have hot water. Well, we got the, the glass frame hooked on. A few screws to secure it in place. 
and it's ready for shipping. When it gets to its destination, so they can take the glass off, they can take the tank out, doesn't weigh so much, uh, where they can handle it, get it in place, put it all back together. This uh, should save you about $30 a month. It'll heat water up from 68 degrees to 120 to 140 uh, in a, in a, on a, every day, um, on an average sunny day. And it's a 50 gallon tank. And uh, like I said, we sell the uh, aluminum frames. If you want to build this yourself, just contact us through YouTube. Thanks for watching.